welcome to another 21st Legion tutorial. My name is Brinley and I will be teaching you how to paint that urban base that we made in the last video. A couple of things you're going to need first. You need some water. You're going to need a standard brush. I just use a standard Citadel brush. You're going to need uh, a cup and you're going to need some glue that's just to start with you're also going to need a couple of paints to pull this off okay so in the gray department we've got dawnstone gray and mechanicus gray in the metallics department we've got lead belcher iron breaker and rune fang steel in the yellow you're going to need aerial yellow you're going to need flash gets yellow you're also going to need Hoeth Blue, and you're just going to need two shades, Null Oil and Agarath Earth Shade. I know it's a lot, it's a lot for a base, but look, here they all are. Here they all are. All them here, all them here, it's not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, maybe it is. Anyway, what's that you say? What's this over here? Troll Flare Orange? Oh, we're going to get to that later. Don't worry about that. Also, during this tutorial, I will be applying the undercoat black to this using an air gun. You don't have to. You can use a brush. You can use um, standard uh, um, Games Workshop spray paint. You can use a different sort of spray paint. You don't have to use Games Workshop. I will also be using a wet palette. Now, you don't have to use a wet palette. It's just what something that I prefer to use. Uh, you can use anything you want um, straight out of the pot go nuts but I like to uh, apply things in a couple of layers as our Lord and Saviour Duncan tells us anyway look that's enough of an intro that's what you're gonna be making it's gonna look amazing let's get right on into it all right so the first thing we need to do before we go about painting this bad boy is that we need to seal it because as you can imagine all this stuff the tendency of falling off as you can see around here and around here and there's bits of stuff everywhere so we're going to seal it and you ask how are we going to seal it well good news is is that we're just going to use the time and tested <coughs> old method of uh, a bit of craft glue all right so you're going to need your cup oh, yes. Pop this out of the way for a moment. You're gonna need your cup, you need your super glue, you need to put your super glue in the cup. Now you don't need much, you don't need much at all. It's a tiny bit. Keep it for later, you're gonna need it. Then we need to add a fair amount of water to this. Take a dump. Put your syringes full into here. It needs to be really watery, otherwise it just doesn't work at all. All right, and then I'll tip it up and show you what we're doing. And you grab your brush that you don't like, and you just yeah. So you want it to be like a nice watery consistency because you're using it to for sealing. Not using it to um not using it for anything else. This is just gonna be a sealing medium. Right, then grab your base and you just just wanna get a little bit you just wanna just drop it on. Just drop it on. Drop it on. This is gonna be making this will make a, a PVA barrier. One, two, oh, that's a bit too thick. So you're going to mix it up a little bit more. It's way too thick. You do not want those chunks. I mean, like, the chunky bits probably aren't that bad, really. But it's just like the PVA glue infused water, if you will, that is going to seal up your base a bit more. Make sure you get... Oh, try not to get on your barbed wire. We're going to have to clean that up, aren't we? 
you definitely want to get in between it. If it's a bit messy, don't panic. Like it's 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 just PVA, like it's watered down PVA glue. It's not going to destroy it, and as long as you don't like sneeze on it or you're in a dusty environment or anything, it's going to be perfectly fine. We'll wash it off. Right now we're just going to get that brush and we're just going to just pull back some of that PVA. Because that's a bit nasty. We don't really want it that thick there. That's going to obscure the details. And over here, like that stuff can go. I don't need that. I just want it to go. And uh, over here, here's all good. Oh wait, lost in a bit. Anyway, so that's that's what this is going to stop. It's going to stop your gravel from going everywhere. And it's going to firm it up a little bit more, give it a little bit more um space in between. Oh, maybe that's where that's from. Maybe it's like that little gap in there. You probably can't, you guys probably can't see that. You probably couldn't see that at all. I apologize. Anyway, I'm going to hit that with the hair dryer. I'll be back in a second. All right, so I've just thrown this under um, a hairdryer for about two minutes. As you can see, the PVA glue is all dried up and it's nice and sealed. Nothing's falling off. All right, so what we're going to do now is just we're just going to paint it black, as we usually do. I'm going to use an airbrush. You guys can use, uh, obviously, your spray cans. You, you can do it by hand. You can do whatever you want. But anyway, we're just going to go ahead and spray it. Nothing easy, nothing, nothing too crazy. All right, and that's that. Alrighty, so this bad boy is all dry, ready to paint. Just like the start of the video, I'm gonna take you through what colors we're gonna be using for this tutorial. All right. So, up the, I don't know if you can see it, oh yeah, yeah, we're all good. Right, so up the top here, Dawnstone Grey, Mechanicus Grey in this big blob in the center. Then over here we've got some uh, Lead Belcher, Iron Breaker, Rune Fang Steel, all the way at the top. Hoeth Blue, that's going to be like the dust of the basing. Then we've just got some Flash Gets Yellow, and a little bit of Uriel Yellow down the bottom here. Brown and brown, we might, probably won't use... If we do, I'll get around to them. Alright, uh, let's just crack into it then. I'll leave the palette over here so you guys can see. As I paint this up, let me just get into a good position. So everyone can have a good look. Alright, the first thing we're going to paint is that we're just going to use our Mechanicus Grey. Put our brush, got your brush if you need to. The mechanic is grey on the brush. Just get it nice and loaded up. Don't get too worried about getting it all the way up. I'm just using a standard Gaines Workshop um, brush that I probably bought like, well, shit, I don't know, like eight years ago or something. <laughs> Look alright. Alright, so next part, we're just going to hit this base with a little bit of Hoeth Blue. So as you can see, Hoeth Blue is over here. Put on your brush. I'm actually going to dry brush this on. So I've actually got a little bit of paper towel off camera. We're just going to dry brush it off a little bit. So it looks... Uh, obviously, you're not going to go too crazy on here. We're just going to go straight over black. This is to basically how I've done a fair amount of my other armies. Just looks good. Shut up. Alright, so there you go. Look at that. Still doesn't look like much. But we're getting there. Alright, so next part. 
we're just going to get our um, iron breaker. And we're just going to just try to nicen up those bits of metal. That we uh, mangled out with the hoe with blue. Don't don't worry about it too, too neat with it. Like it's not really super important. You just want to make sure that you those metal bits are defined. You can't see too much of detail, but it just it just crisps it up just a little bit. This brings it to the foreground just a little bit more. We just blow on that a little bit. The thing we're gonna do, I'm just gonna get a little bit of this dawnstone. Just gonna grab it. I'm actually just gonna mix it gonna meet these two in the middle. Just gonna mix them up a little bit. Don't want too much. Just want a, a blend that's somewhere between the two. You're just gonna grab your brush and you're just gonna drop it on. Nothing too crazy. Just wanna just bring it to the foreground. A little bit, even here. Let's go around the edges. Nothing too crazy. Just a little bit of a, a different color contrast to make it a little bit different. Nothing too exciting. And then, just gonna let that dry. Actually, we're just gonna, so there, we're just gonna get a little bit of dawn stain. Just gonna hit the tips just to make it. Oh, there's another bit that hasn't quite set. Try it more. Actually, just try and yeah, there we go. We're just trying to pull that off completely. Yeah, we can get out of here. Don't like that. That little bit of rock. Rocks look like rocks. Amazing. Oh, not again. Alright. Look at that. We're just gonna grab that dawnstone, just rip it around the outside of this concrete stuff. That's what we're gonna make it look like. We're gonna make it look like concrete. It's like a slab of concrete that's just fallen off a building or something. Or maybe a roadway. I actually like that idea even better. We are. Uh, and make it look like a roadway. Look at that, look at that, a little bit of depth. It's starting to look interesting. Wicked. Alright, so the next part, we're gonna get, we're gonna dirty up these metal bits. We're gonna use a bit of Agrax Earthshade, or however you pronounce it. Straight out of the pot. No other way to do it. I love this stuff. Another Games Workshop wash. I'm just gonna gonna oh, make you can sure you can see it just gonna dirty up this make it real dirty like just gonna hit it don't be too scared of it get in there make it look real dirty give it a character so it goes a little bit up here and we're actually gonna leave that there and we'll oh, get it on the rock. Not a huge issue, look at that, it just comes off. Uh, what else can we do? Probably get a bit of null oil. We could dump it onto these rocks. Bit of null oil. Just gonna grab it. Oh. Shake it up a little bit. I'm just gonna lightly drop it. Just gonna drop it in here. In these recesses. Cause these rocks. A little bit a little bit more character. A bit more shading. Make it look just a little bit more textural. 
too exciting. Then go to this bad boy. Dropping in around the top. Try and get on that highlight. Try and just trying to make it look uh, like some road. It went a little bit too crazy there. That's right. Not the end of the world. Watch this. Look at that. Just drop it in, spread it. Looks nice. And because we partially wiped away some of that dawn stone around the edges, with that, we'll just throw it back on. Just grab this and we'll just. Just lightly run it around. Might need a little bit more dawn stone. There we go. Look at that. Alright, next step. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is that we're going to draw nice yellow line on here to make it look like a bit of concrete now what you're going to do it'll work out which way you want your line going and you want to face it down because the easiest way to draw a line is by a downstroke I mean this might not be super neat uh, who knows I might blow myself away probably wait but we're just going to go down oh, look at that that's actually not too bad. Now, as you can see, the paint's a little wet, but that's all right because this is this is just a line, just a line in the sand. I mean, just a line. I'm just gonna just gonna make it look like something and knead it up. All right. So while that bit dries, what we're gonna do? Can go back through our with our iron breaker. Use a tiny bit just on the tip. And what we're going to do, we're just going to give these edges a little highlight just to bring them out. Same thing for the top of our um, barbed wire. Just want to Get a little bit of a highlight. Nothing too crazy. Just a highlight. Alright, this yellow is looking pretty good. It's a, it's a fairly. Still quite wet. Still quite wet. I might just hit that with the hairdryer. Alright, so I've dried that up a bit. Now that's actually quite wet. So, yep, yeah, just get yellow again. More of a fine tune on the color. We might even like we really only want to make this bit in the middle look straight, so it looks like like an actual road marking. The rest of it's we're actually going to make it look fairly um, bumpy and chipped up because it's you know it's a bit of road that's like being blown up and thrown across an area. So it's not too it's not too bad. Um, yeah, so what that's, what it's doing that, what it's doing its thing there, we're gonna grab this, grab a little bit of Canicus Grey, let's go back to your edges, you wanna, nah, it's not really sticking today, yeah, there we go, let's try and Straighten it up. Remember, if you want to go downward stroke, if you want to, if you want to paint a straight line, use downward strokes. Oh, that's looking heaps better. So here, make sure you get the back because blasted concrete. Yeah, now here we'll just give it a bit of weathering. Hey, we're just gonna, we're just gonna. Uh, put a little bit on your brush, and you're just gonna, gonna dab it in, so it looks like it's been 
a little bit wrecked. Nothing too exciting, because it's like a line, you don't want it. It's been thrown, it's not going to look perfect. It has some scuff marks on it, it's going to look a bit scratched up. And then for the parts that aren't really super scratched up, you can grab your Gets Yellow. Probably could have done this before, but I'd like to add just a little bit just to see what bits are still showing through, and then you just give the main bits a little bit of highlight. Try and there you go, look at that. So you can see that that looks pretty looks pretty cool. I like that. Definitely get a bit of Dawnstone going as well. Nah, it's just not. Probably take better care of brushes than I do, to be honest. Let's try and get those areas that you hit just before to make it a little bit cracked up. And uh, that's looking pretty good. All right, so pretty much we're nearly there. Last step is going to use a bit of, going to make it look a little bit rusty. All right, so to do this, uh, this is a bit, it's a bit uh, awkward. We're going to use a little bit of Troll Slayer Orange, and it's going to be really, really watered down. So we're just going to dump a little bit. Just, yeah, we'll just smack it there, that'll do. Oh, pull whatever that is. Oop, yep. Pull that out. And then get a bit of clean water on your brush. Nice and easy. Alright, so we're going to do the consistency right here. You want to make it. You want to make it really watery, like I'm talking. Like you can see how watery that is. That is exactly what you want, All right? Now load up your brush. Oop. Grab your metal bits, and then you just want to just want to drop it on, and then it's actually going to fall exactly where you need it to go. On this and it won't be too thick if you've done it right to uh, obscure the metal under and around it and it'll just give everything this really nice rusted look and look oh, I've got it on my this bit again no there we go look sorted done skis look at that urban base finished there you go guys that's how you do it right if you guys want more tips or you want any more ideas make sure you subscribe to our web channel that you're on already um, visit the legion of wargamers facebook page and like us share us comment us if you want something interesting done or you just want to tell us how awesome we are feel free to throw a comment in the comment section all right, I'll catch you around. My name is Brilliant, and this has been a 12th Legion tutorial. Catch ya.